All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Stock Market Outlook video brought to you by DeepView. Uh, this is my daily driver for charting, screening, watch lists, alerts, and much, much more. Uh, really exciting stuff, some excellent features that you can't find anywhere else. Um, and you can check out uh, DeepView at deepview.com. I'll have the link popping up uh, right now, as well as down below in the description. Uh, one last thing before we dive into the market indexes and go through about 44 stocks from my previous wide watch list. Uh, I do want to mention that we're currently running kind of a secret sale over on uh, TraderLine University. Uh, you can use the code SUMMERTL uh, for $100 off any of our master classes. Uh, this one, which we just finished with John Boyk, uh, featured amazing guests from Jim Ropel, um, Oliver Kell, Eve Bobak, uh, Dr. Wish was a guest for one, Roy Maddox. Um, some amazing, amazing resources here uh, that are timeless. Uh, so many true market leaders studied and we went through all the different market cycles uh, and their corresponding monster stocks. Uh, the Stan Weinstein Stage Analysis Masterclass, amazing, amazing class. Oliver Kell, uh, this one taught me an immense amount. And uh, you know, if you want to learn how to achieve triple-digit ret returns, um, Oliver is the man to go to. Uh, Jared, if you want to work on your mental game, this is perfect. And if you want to study IPOs and super growth stocks, uh, find the next Tesla. Amazon, Netflix, before they go on their monster moves. Uh, there's a lot of stocks that kind of look like their template right now. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Once again, you can get $100 off using the code SUMMERTL at checkout. And I'll have the link down below to that as well. But let's go ahead and dive right in and start with um, the overall uh, indexes, the overall market here. Uh, you can see that this is this Monday. Uh, we followed through from the nice upside reversal. Um, as I mentioned in kind of my stock market market outlook articles i was watching pretty carefully for upside reversal action at key levels looking over to the left uh, we did get one it followed through on this monday and things were looking good uh, this day here we did have a gap up and sell off it didn't penetrate too much into this range uh, and volume was a little bit lower here um, and the next day we had a slight gap up strong close into the declining 21 ema area as well as the 50 sma area which is a flat lining here um, so at this point, we've rallied strongly for basically four straight days. Um, you know, there's often moves of, of a similar duration here, and then we get some type of pause, consolidation, whatever. Uh, we had the NVIDIA earnings and corresponding gap up here, and then really bad day, really negative day. This is the widest range um, going back quite a ways. I'm not, maybe this is a wider range, but uh, this is a very negative bar. Uh, but today we kind of stuck in there and uh, finished on a high note where we had, you know, for a lot of the day, there was kind of indecision. It was back here. We tried to rally. We failed. We moved all the way down. And then we had a very strong close and not just the indexes close. Well, also many growth stocks, as we'll get into, uh, put in pretty strong bars today. So we'll see if this bar uh, means there's more destruction to come uh, or if it's just kind of part of the bottoming process and we can potentially put in, you know, a higher low here. Uh, again, we pull back close to this level. We didn't undercut it again, uh, but definitely constructive action today, um, not just on the indexes, but also in growth names. Uh, we remain below a declining 21 EMA, which for me is like the perfect, you know, on off switch or, you know, aggressive defensive switch. Um, be aggressive above a rising 21 EMA. Once that starts, you know, once we start declining below a declining 21 EMA, uh, that's when you want to be a little bit more patient and pick your spots very carefully if you're trading at all. Uh, we will eventually get above another rising 21 EMA. There'll be a period like this, and we just want to make sure that we have uh, both our financial and mental capital um, ready when that happens. So uh, don't press too hard. If, if it's not your style, wait for that easy money conditions, um, and uh, good times will come again. This correction is now uh, three, four weeks long here. Uh, so we'll see if we can start to see the right side of this uh, shape out. Uh, but once again, we got to remain open to any scenario. This bar could just be the start and we could, you know, undercut these lows, continue down, uh, let that 200 day moving average kind of catch up to price. Um, or we could firm out, form a higher low here and uh, start moving higher. Uh, the indexes will let us know that action as well as the leadership itself. And I would say right now, uh, looking at the charts after the close today, um, you know, leaders look a little bit better than the indexes. There's some that have been hanging really strong above their moving averages. Uh, there's a lot that did get hit and continue to get hit. Uh, so I have to watch how that kind of breath expands or contracts. But let's move on to the IWO. 
Uh, this bounced off the 200-day moving average today, another constructive bar. Uh, this got hit a little bit harder, and once again, we're below declining 21 EMA, so there's no real rush at this point. Um, we'll just wait for that wedge pop, which is, you know, when we break above this range as well as the 21 EMA, where it's been flattening for a little bit, and then ideally we got to retest that moving average and correspond upwards as well from that point on. But this kind of lets you know what small caps have been doing, and they got hit a little bit harder than the QQQ uh, and the rest of it. But let's go ahead now um, over to my wide list and go through a bunch of these names. Uh, these were uh, names that I put on uh, my outlook. Outlook, uh, sorry, my outlook article uh, last week. A bunch of names that were setting up or looking good. We had a mixture of good ones and bad ones, and let's go ahead through all these names. So first, uh, TSAT. A lot of these had, you know, a lot of names within this industry. And let me open up the data panel and stats table so you can see uh, both the earnings and sales as well as. Uh, the information over here. Uh, this is definitely a super handy feature when it comes to deep view. Uh, you can see that uh, there are no estimates really for for the stock, uh, but we had a powerful earnings gap up. You can click this, uh, see its results. Uh, you can also hover over this right here. You can see that right there. Uh, not a lot of analysts appear to be following this, but super strong action, pull back, and then it put this bar in on this Monday. Super strong action up 26%. Uh, so this is going to be a powerful mover, as you can see from this momentum, uh, but did pull back late into last week. Uh, let me open this up so you can see the price percent change of the last week. Uh, Fastly also caught my eye because it was forming a tight range in the 21 EMA. Nice explosive action, did pull back hard, but then rallied again today on a pickup in volume. Nice action. You can see the estimates here where in deep view, we can, you can go out almost 10 quarters on almost every stock um, and see the analyst reports. Uh, you can see it had a nice EPS surprise uh, that caused this gap up, pulled back, and then uh, is you know forming new highs here, forming new highs for uh, the year. Let me drag this over here. Definitely named to watch a little bit carefully. Uh, CAMT also was pulling into the 21 EMA. That's why I had it on my radar. Strong action and nice end to the week, just kind of consolidating this powerful move. RVMD, RVMD uh, Pharma and Biotech are acting pretty well. Once again, this was pulling into the 21 EMA, um, tightening up here, and then had a really nice week, just basically straight up from this point. Definitely short-term extended, but acting really well. And if you're able to catch it near here, a pretty good entry. I like the pickup and volume here as well. Uh, this space, Pharma and Bio, uh, I noticed pretty strong strength there within the overall group. Um, IONQ, uh, this wasn't acting super well last week, but I just kind of wanted to watch it because this I find the story interesting and it's shown a lot of strength in the past. Still forming out a base here, uh, rallied above the 50 SMA and just kind of pulling uh, back here. I'd love for it to kind of oscillate here, tighten up and kind of form pivot around 1642 or even lower uh, and kind of pop through that 21 EMA. That would be ideal. Uh, Upwork, nice action. Uh, this is one of the recent earnings gappers that's been acting well. Pull back tight, upside reversal action, pushed hard, gave back a lot, but then today another constructive bar. So still potentially actionable. Um, you can see that uh, there's some nice growth expected down here. Uh, last quarter was um, that surprise, which is a little bit skewed, 900%. Uh, revenue growth a little bit as well. And you've got some nice estimates and, and guidance increasing for EPS. Coursera, another kind of one within this overall you know, IPO pattern. Uh, stage one down here, but close to potentially starting a stage two. Huge volume on this move upward. Nice contraction and breakout through this level and acting well into uh, the end of this week's CVNA. There's more of a momentum mover uh, for people who like to trade these, but compressing against the 21 EMA and 50 SMA. If it loses this level, obviously it's a no go or potentially short if the market falls through to the downside. Uh, but we've got the potential for a wedge pop through this level. MNDY, uh, another recent IPO that is in this overall pattern and kind of moving off the lows here. Uh, it hasn't been acting super strong. We do have this nice bar, uh, but I'm like watching this overall base forming, uh, which is pretty mature. And let's go over to a weekly chart quickly. Uh, you can see that basically this has been forming a base for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 weeks now. You've got highs around 184, 185. Um, and I'm just watching to see how this develops to see if it can um, offer a tight spot here and show something I like the uh, growth in revenue. Um, earnings, you've got a mixed bag here, but um, I like the overall spot where it's at. I love this power off the lows. 
Uh, moving on to CELH, there's another earnings gapper that's holding pretty tight. Nice action today as well. NVIDIA, let's talk about this one. Obviously, you had the earnings gap here almost immediately sell, sold off really hard, undercutting the top of this base, uh, pulling back to this level, and it fell through to the downside all the way to the 21 EMA today, uh, but did bounce a little bit here. So uh, what you'd be watching for here is a tight range to form or a tight range to form on maybe an intraday time frame, a 65 minute time frame, and you can watch for a lower risk entry here. So until it really low, loses the 21 EMA and undercuts this level and this level, I think it's still, you know, a powerful stock. There's a lot of signs of accumulation and there's a lot of negativity around it as well. So we'll have to see what happens, but I'll be watching for a range to form um, and see what happens from there. Uh, you could definitely watch the 65 minute time frame. It's still kind of in the decline phase, but if it oscillates a little bit here and then moves higher, it'd start kind of a stage two on this time frame. Uh, and that's what I would kind of be looking for here. Uh, but right now, just kind of forming, you know, a basing structure, consolidation structure here um, and super strong um, earnings growth, sales growth, all of that uh, surprising. You know, uh, I think it's data centers. That's the driving factor. Uh, so definitely in play with a lot of the themes that exist today. So that is NVIDIA. Uh, definitely one to at least still have on your watch list. Uh, APP, another earnings gap are acting well, potentially actionable through this downward uh, flag here. Uh, you can go ahead and draw that. I'll actually put in my alert. There we go. Let's create that. Um, so definitely actionable through this mini flag here. Uh, and we'll see if it can push higher. If it you know fails, reverses, then it might need a little bit more time to let that 21 EMA catch up to price. Adobe, really negative bar here today with a lot of other stocks, but inside day today, holding near the moving averages um, in terms of mega caps. Uh, this one is acting pretty well and nice, gr nice growth expected in both terms of earnings and sales. Uh, TW, nice push here off this consolidation. Now I'm going to say there, CRT, nice push from this consolidation, tight into the end of the week. Still potentially actual. This is a, a lower dollar volume name, so keep that in mind. Those things look fast, uh, move fast. Uh, GTLB just was on my radar because it's kind of holding near these lows as well as the 200-day moving average, that confluence. So potentially could form a wedge pop through kind of the 40, 46 area. You can see it was a downside reversal here, uh, but still has that potential and uh, uh, has really nice revenue growth in this name. LOY, Pharma, uh, this one, Amgen, REGN, all acting pretty well uh, and is pretty tight the last four days uh, after this earnings gap. Uh, PWR, a uh, nice move out of this consolidation, pushed higher. Big downside reversal uh, inside day today, so we'll see if it can hold up or if we're going to lose these lows right here. Uh, AMR, a lot of coal, oil, and gas names continue to act really well. Uh, this one just setting up tight and going over to a weekly. Uh, you can see we've got a strong stage two uptrend and then a lot of months of consolidation where we had a push higher on an increase in volume. This is a tight inside week on declining volume, so acting constructive, and we're right near the top of this base, so uh, definitely an area that you should be focused on. The, the oil and gas names, energy names uh, still look pretty strong um, relatively. REGN, uh, let's bring up the daily chart here. Uh, still just in a trend, short-term extended, not really actionable here, but uh, just a strong stock that I want to have on my radar. MMP tightening here uh, against the 21 EMA. Couldn't really go these two days, so we'll have to see how, how this does. ETRN, really tight, maybe a little bit too tight. Uh, we'll have to see, but it can put in bars like this up 9%. Uh, so definitely act quickly with your, your buy stops as well as your sell stops. Uh, TDW, uh, nothing much to say, just up and down. WFRD still compressing versus 21 EMA. Uh, Fresh also still in that area, definitely has my eye for next week. DLO just pushed higher today, so potentially forming a U here. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, nice growth expected. NUE. Uh, leaking a little bit below, but holding that 50 SMA. Uh, PXD pulling into the 21 EMA. Uh, T, uh, Tallow also pulling into the 21 EMA. So you can kind of see the look of the oil and gas names. Uh, GPN, big upside reversal today off the 21 EMA. That one's pretty interesting. USM getting really tight. So it'll either pop to the upside or downside pretty soon, um, but be ready to act quickly. I'm not quite sure what the catalyst is for these telecom names, but if you know, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, Uber, not the best bar today, but it did have a pretty good close uh, and holding near you know the, the 50 SMA, 21 EMA area, uh, but it broke below kind of these lows altogether. 
and just like looks to be putting in a base here. So we'll see if we can tighten up and you know present an entry point low down in this base. Uh, TFI, uh, upside reversal action near the 21 EMA, not super interesting, looks a little bit weak, uh, but I like the volume on the up days uh, versus the down days. X, another recent gap up, um, pulled back late last week. NOV, also pulling into the 21 EMA. Uh, VAL, another oil and gas name, tightening versus the 21 EMA. All these look pretty similar. PSG, a really bad bar here. Looks like it needs a little bit more time. Um, SLB, looks like the other oil and gas names. Same with OVV, nice upside reversal. INSW, pulling back hard into the 20 EMA. This looks like it needs a little bit more time to base out under these lows and tighten up its ranges. Uh, same with this one. Um, rig, pretty bad. Uh, well, not terrible, but pull back into the, 20, uh, the 50 SMA here. Needs a little bit more time. And FRPT, uh, pulled back pretty hard. Another name that's pretty interesting, uh, Ross actually mentioned this today. Um, NVO. Another recent gap up, I believe it trades on a different exchange, which is why it's so gappy here. But um, Rye was, you know, looking at this monthly and just look at this. This is a solid performer since um, 2003. So um, super strong action into all time highs. Uh, they've got a new kind of diabetes drug. So uh, keep an eye on this one. And the overall group is pretty strong. So that's a run through of about, you know, 40, 50 names in, in short order. Let me know your thoughts on uh, this market as well as any of these stocks I cover today. Uh, if there's any that you think I should have my eye on, let me, on, let me know as well. Um, and if you're watching all the way into this point, thank you so much. Uh, please take the time to leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, I really do appreciate it. And I read every single comment. So if you have any feedback, uh, let me know down below. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and with that, uh, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.